working. Are you warm? Yeah. About to watch some TV, our little fireplace, and earplugs. That's that's for later to block out the wind. You can probably hear it in the background. Let's see what's going on out here. Wow, it's kind of cold out here. This is the wind. Do you see this? Yep, I think I'll stay in here. All right, good night. It's still the same day or night, or actually it's the next day, it's one o'clock in the morning from when we left y'all last week. And we're going through our first night right now, something unexpected to happen. We thought it was just supposed to rain. Sleet has started to hit the tent. How do you feel about this, babe? I feel great because we have the heater in here. I'm not really sleeping just because I want to pay attention to that, but I've been trying to take care of my angel princess, make sure she feels protected. I'm sleeping. She's sleeping. I'm holding down the fort and I do want everybody to know. We did go to the grocery store, like we said, and all the milk and bread was gone. I don't understand why that's the first thing to always be bought up at the stores is milk and bread. Can somebody tell us, put it in the comments below. Yeah, why do you buy that? Cause luckily we didn't need any milk or bread, but they had plenty of fruit and vegetables, flour. And also to let y'all know how this double tent thing's been going so far tonight, it's not gonna be as cold as tomorrow night but it's not supposed to rain at all tomorrow night, which means we won't have any accumulation. So I just wanted to let y'all know, with the current sleet situation and rain, the wind is blowing so hard on the side of the tent, the large tent, it's been causing the tent to be encaved in and literally pushing the moisture through the other tent. And it's getting this tent wet on this one side from the side that the wind's been blowing from the north nonstop. Everything else is dry. And I wanna add, it's still warm and cozy in here. Y'all see that? That is how much colder it is here than inside that tent. It's crazy. Gonna get back in here where it's like, I'd say it's like 70 degrees in here. The wind's blowing so much that the bat wing awning the water is just being thrown off of it. But I will be getting up to check it again now that it's starting to sleet. Because Kelly did make a good point. What if this sleet accumulates and adds a lot of weight onto the bat wing awning? So here in a couple hours, I'll go out there and double check. Sound like a plan, babe? It's about four in the morning now, and it's heavy sleep. I'm just kind of concerned about the awning. Why do you take this down? It's so frozen solid. So it's about four, actually it's almost five o'clock now. It's been about an hour and I've been trying to get that bat wing awning closed. It hasn't collapsed yet, but it's still standing up. It's just not closing. And the tent has about that much ice, about a half an inch ice on the top of it. It's holding up nicely. When we uh, checked the weather, they said it was just supposed to be rain and no sleet in this area, just rain. We just thought it was gonna be wind and temps. You didn't think it was going to rain? Not really. Yeah, me It's either. been supposed to rain all day and it's done nothing. It's supposed to rain several times since we've been here and it's never rained. So when they said it was going to rain, I was like, it ain't going to rain. And then if it rained, I was like, it ain't going to ice. There we are. So now that my hands aren't feeling like they've been hit with a hammer anymore, I'm, uh, I'm going to get out there and try to get this awning closed again. As y'all can see, we ain't got uh, no way to melt that right now. So it looks like the sleet's almost over. And since these poles haven't slid in on themselves, 
I just restrapped everything back up and just left it as is. And I want to check in here. Okay. Temperatures feel okay in here, so it makes me think that the lines have not frozen on our trailer just yet. Like I said, I mean, it's only supposed to get down to like 28 for like two hours and get back up to 30. It's supposed to get into teens tonight, which means I was going to drain the tank today during the day and let those lines get pumped out so that there's no water in those lines and fill up, refill up our filtered water. I was going to do all that then, but I can't do it right now. There's no way for me to get that on and close or to de-thaw uh, the little door lid because just the side of the trailer is frozen. See right there? I got everything strapped back down on the awning out there. Just gonna leave it be for the night. And I think it's about 5.15 now, 5.20. And the sleet should be over like any minute now. And if it's still up, I think it's fine. But I think tomorrow we'll be able to get all this melted during the day and uh, try to make it through tomorrow night. Uh, but we'll see y'all when the sun rises. good windy morning we've been doing everything we can to put these walls up they're frozen but we got them up we got the this wall trying to get that um, handled because the wind is coming from this direction and it is very 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 cold so if the wind wasn't blowing at all it would be doable with gloves on I can't I don't even know what I'm touching I I, I don't know gloves don't work for me um, also, fun fact, earplugs do not stay in my ears. I don't know what's wrong with my ears. I can't wear earplugs. Secondly, our pantry, our seasoning rack is frozen, and then this one's frozen. So they're both frozen, and Cody's trying to work on getting those unfrozen. At this point, it's probably almost 11 a.m., and we're just contemplating like what to do because we're hungry. I'd like to just stay here and make uh, waffles and coffee. That would be great. So we're just, if we can't get the stuff open, then we can't do it. But the tent worked out inside the tent. We had uh, ice that froze on the tent. So as the wind was blowing it in, it just froze in. So this morning he had to clean the ice off of it so that it would stand back up. We're supposed to get sunshine today around one and it's supposed to stay out. So hopefully it will melt everything. Tonight's low is the lowest of the low. It's going to be about 13 and we have to leave tomorrow. Hopefully everything will melt off and that way nothing will be frozen tomorrow because that's going to be so much fun packing that up. It's going to take 
wherever. So we're not really sure what we're gonna do today. We don't know if we're gonna go to Del Rio. We don't know. Well, we well yeah, we have to eat. Yeah. Um, we open this with all our foods in here. We're probably gonna have to get more water. Let me get through because they said that the spigot over there is oh, I tried it. frozen, and the wind it just hurts. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. Like I mean, you just don't get wind like this in Arkansas. So this is our tent inside the tent. And our propane was out here and the heater was in the tent. It's not bad when you face this way, but when you face the other way, the wind is just, whew. Yeah, too bad we can't do anything on the back side of the trailer. I mean, it's full of cactus. So anyway, let's see what happens. It's 11.30 now. We could not get the refrigerator door lock unfrozen or the spice rack lock unfrozen so we have decided we're gonna go to del rio and try to find something to eat if the wind was not so crazy it wouldn't be that bad and if everything wasn't frozen we and we could unlock it so we're gonna go to town we'll see what happens after that Feeling better now that we got some food in our tummies. Now it is 2.30. We're going to head back to camp. The sun is coming out, so hopefully it will heat and melt a bunch of ice and uh, warm up the inside of the tent because I want to stretch so bad. What do you got to do, Cody? Man, I still got to make sure that the tent's okay because I, I don't know if the ice did any damage to it. And we also need to check the keyhole to make sure that we can open up the door and check the water pump or at least the water lines to see if they froze or if they're cracked or if any issues are there so we've got to make sure all this is okay before we leave del rio slash seminole campground yeah so we got some other things to take care of and we're gonna head back to camp right now see you when we get back we're back at camp first test let's see if this finally opens good good sign Finally get to our food. We got water. Kelly just checked the faucet, so we have water now. Let's see here. That's open. All right. So the next thing I want to test is this water water pump. Will you help me out real quick when you get a second? We'll to check this and see. Okay, you can let it go. I can pick it up. I want to get in the trailer and I'm going to check to see if anything leaks. So right behind this false wall here is the line for that pump outside or the hose outside. Are you ready? Yeah, ready for you. So let's see if it's leaking. I'm gonna put my hand back there. Is water coming out? Yep. Awesome, just keep it going for a second. It's cold, okay. Nothing froze up here. No, I don't have no issues here. All right, you can turn it off. So we're good on the inside. We're gonna check on the uh, outside now. That line is right behind here. I don't feel anything. I think we're good. What we did not expect was when we had our dish tub put in front of the right rear tire, like we normally have it. We didn't expect the ice to set on top of it and then melt and go into it. Well, first off, we didn't expect it to ice. Because usually when it rains, the inside of this never gets wet unless it's like a torrential downpour that's a couple inches deep. You're walking around in like something you'd get in Arkansas. So she's having to clean that out because everything melted and went in there. So the next big task I've got to do, I didn't even think if it was going to be frozen until just now. We want to go ahead and drain the tank now because we know it's going to be in the teens and it's going to be freezing below freezing temperatures in about an hour until 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, which means it's gonna be below freezing for a long period of time and be in the teens. We're gonna get under here and go ahead and drain out this. Just like I thought, that's frozen. That's a good sign, real good sign. 
So that usually takes about 30 minutes to drain. So we'll let that drain. And if I ever find any of you sneaking under my trailer when this thing's full, letting all my water out, you will find a very unhappy Cody. My last task of being concerned is coming over here and checking to see how the tent has thawed and making sure it's standing upright again. And so far, So far, it's looking pretty good. What do y'all think? Preferably, if we were out in the National Forest or BLM land, we would have so blocked all this with our vehicle, but at this campground, there's nowhere for us to put our tent besides here or to move or maneuver our truck around, so we had to be here. And when we were having moisture come in the inside, it was because, like I said, this thing is designed to shed water. It's not waterproof. This upper part, this down here is waterproof, but here on up is just water resistant. And this is for spring, summer, and fall, which is the camping we want to do. That's what we've been trying to find. We don't want to, we don't want to have fun with this because this isn't fun to us. This is designed to breathe. It's not designed to keep you warm. That's why we put the tent on the inside. Whenever this breathes, if there's a bunch of wind like we were having last night, it was literally pushing the water through this material to the backside because it was just hammering it down. So when we woke up this morning, y'all saw all this was just laid in because of all the weight of the ice on this one side. And some of y'all have asked, why don't we get a canvas tent? Well, in the grand scheme of things, this is the first time we would have needed it. And we're not, you know, searching for cold weather. We're trying to escape it. And the second thing is in our trailer, we don't have, I mean, we're already kind of maxed out on weight and those things are so heavy and we don't have any more room for that and we would like i said use it once a year maybe and i know it'd be worth it but we ain't playing this game next year we're gonna try to we're gonna try to do something else next year we got cleaned off and the sun finally came out and finally melted the rest of all the ice off the tent and i think we're just gonna get in here and chill for a little bit get that bad boy turned back on and you might be really surprised at how well the heater inside of a tent inside of a tent works and i actually questioned questioned it it's so warm in here like i literally had to run from the truck in here because my hair's wet and i don't want to get sick because it's it's cold enough that water just freezes like that out there now the plan is we're just going to watch a show and get warm and then it's almost six o'clock now, which we had a really, really, really late breakfast. What did we eat around like 1.30? <laughs> yeah. As soon as we get hungry and maybe the wind will die down about that time, I'm gonna say maybe 7, 7.30, we're gonna go out and make something really quick. We're not gonna cook anything. I was actually prepared for this as in the event of what are we gonna eat? But anyway, real simple. As soon as we start getting hungry, we're gonna jump out there and make it and probably eat it in here. As of right now, it's 20, Oh, I don't know. Did, what did it say? It's 24 degrees and feels like 18. Right now? I thought that was earlier. This no, it's like that right now. It's like 24 feels like 18 and it's supposed to get even colder later. Oh, yeah. It's definitely going to get colder. Something that we've learned also is that when you're in a desert and the cloud, actually anywhere, once the cloud cover moves, it gets colder. If you have an overcast, it, for some reason it keeps a little bit of warmth and you stay warmer in the outdoors. But once that clear sky comes and you already have a cool temperature, it gets really cool. Really Except cool. Except for when the wind's blowing. If the wind's blowing and it's overcast, it's going to be cold. Well, because then the moisture cuts through your skin. Yeah. We've experienced that in the Washita National Forest. All right, I've been watching a show. Cody's been editing. 6.30 now, and I think we're going to go ahead and fix something before it gets too dark outside. So let's get over there to the kitchen and let's put all of our outside clothes on. All right, so we've got some toasted bread, some cream cheese, and smoked salmon that I can't get off of here because I can't fill it, really. What's strange is whenever I went to go grab that out of the refrigerator, it was 32 degrees and it actually feels warmer in the refrigerator than it does out here. <laughs> Usually it's, you know, colder. And then we have lettuce. Wow, that's a lot of lettuce here. And tomato. Okay. And that's it. We just have a bag of chips. So easy peasy.
this is officially the coldest we've ever experienced in our lives camping. It's not bad in the tent, but it is out there. But we're gonna eat this dinner and enjoy this warmth and we'll see y'all in the morning. See y'all in the morning. Good morrow. It is colder. It's colder. We made it though. It's so warm in here. It's almost like a really drafty house. Yeah. I've been in houses that are colder that have insulation. But we're leaving today and we've got to pack all of this stuff up and I'm just hoping that I can make breakfast out there. I really am. I really want my coffee. That wind, it cuts like a knife. The wind did die down a lot last night and then it just picked up again a couple hours ago. So you, you got sleep? I slept all night. I woke up at 6 to go pee pee. And then I came right back in and went right back to sleep. Woke up at 8. I wore the earplugs that we purchased and I slept like a rock. I didn't wake up at all. Once again, I can't wear earplugs. I mean, you try to put an earplug in her little ear. There's something weird about her ear. It's like it's got a cab, like the hole, but it's a wall. And then it does a curve thing. And I have tried so hard to just wind that little thing up and stick it up in there. And it just starts expanding and then it goes... <laughs> it just falls out. The wax ones don't work either. When I turned to lay sideways, I felt it moving out. So I would have woke up with wax all strung everywhere. My hair. Yeah, yeah, she's right about that. She's just different. She's got different anatomy. But she's so pretty. Look at her. Over there, little angel princess. We got to think of a game plan. We're putting all this stuff up, like we usually do. There it is, that's the game plan. <laughs> we can start putting stuff up. I'm gonna start put, setting stuff in there. You grab it and put it up. And just in case we can't sit outside and eat, don't put anything in the front seat. Put it in the back. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Let's get this game plan started. Break. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Falling down, I will keep on searching for my heights. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. That was a tough job putting all that up in the high winds and that cold, 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 cold breeze, wind blowing. It feels fine right here, but if you go over there, it's just, it's bad. Yeah, it's we're, really bad. we're not gonna lie, we're pretty exhausted and beat. We're real tired. Yeah. I mean, and cold, I still can't feel any of my toes. So I guess I can just go ahead and say someone asked about what kind of clothes we have for this kind of weather and really, the jacket I had on is my only jacket. And then we both have thermals that we layer with. And then I just, so I have thermals on with wool socks. And then these have like a warm underneath it. So I, we just layer. Yeah. We don't really uh, have a lot of gear for really, really cold weather like this. So we're not prepared. We don't really go skiing. We don't have that kind of gear. And we, we don't really, be honest we don't really enjoy cold weather no <laughs> so we're we not really on the lookout for it yeah. so we're always trying to avoid the mm -hmm. cold weather so this is not something we will continue to do no as in camping in cold weather kelly's really just thin too i mean look at her she's just a little lady a little. she's she gets cold quick but we're about to head on to our next destination and we'll catch you on the other see you at the next spot